With growth expected at 6% this year, Namibia is looking healthier than most of its neighbours in southern Africa. Foreign direct investment is on the increase and is evident on the ground. The country's main commercial port is undergoing a massive facelift and the construction of a new special industrial zone is underway. We're creating stability in the income, we're creating more jobs and especially if you create one more job, you're feeding a family of four. So I, I support it and I, I'm, I'm positive that it will work. Uh, everything is a work in progress. Rome wasn't built in a day. Port authorities want to create a regional and international trade hub in Walvis Bay. The port has become convenient for the Sadek region as it's strategically located. Namport has also proved to be extremely efficient with its handling of cargo. Namport is now ex uh, port ex busy with its port expansion. And this piece here behind us is uh, the new container terminal. Why they create the new container terminals is, is the, the high um, income of containers coming to, to Wolfish Bay. Uh, more people are now depending on Wolfish Bay as they almost like business hub. I think in the past it was Durban and Tanzania. While there are several development projects on the go, some are concerned about poverty and rising unemployment. Fishing is the third largest contributor to GDP and the second biggest foreign exchange earner. The sector employs over 15,000 fishermen, but they say they're being paid poorly. Poverty here is too much. Go around how many houses have shakes and about most of the shakes in Wolfish Bay and in Swakop belong to the fishermen. Why don't we have houses? It's because we don't have enough. A guy that works at the fishing grounds, go to the fishing grounds, work for about 45 to 50 days, the, the, the highest amount that that guy is earning on his basic salary is from 1,000 to 6,000. The government says it's been difficult to develop industries amidst vast stretches of desert, unspoiled beaches and rocky mountainous areas. These areas make up for the country's thriving tourism industry, which attracts more than a million visitors every year and contributes almost 15% to GDP. This is June 7. It is the highest dune in the Namibian desert. It's also the most popular tourist attraction for this country. Now the government is working really hard to strike a balance in protecting its natural wonders while also growing this economy. Namibia managed to reduce poverty levels by 40% between 1993 and 2010, but still remains a largely unequal society with unemployment at 29%. However, new policy to lift the economy has opened Namibia up to increased foreign investment. Construction on a new power plant will begin soon. Several other industries are also in expansion mode. The country plans to create thousands of jobs. Sumitra Nadu, CCTV, Walvis Bay, Namibia.